I'm doing mechanisms um, from the book, uh, mechanisms for the generation of plane curves. And the one I'm going to do is um, this one for a hyperbola to the 139. It looks complicated, but it's, it's not when we get going. Um, let me share my screen. So we put, we've, we uh, have axes here, um, useful to establish the fixed points of our um, mechanism. So, <clears throat> so like the ellipse, the hyperbola, it starts with a four bar linkage, but, but in this case, it's a, a, a crossed four bar linkage. Um, first of all, we'll station the, the points A and D um, and we'll put them an equal distance away from the y axis. Uh, we'll call that distance F. These are going to end up being the foci of um, the hyperbola. And um, we'd now A and B, A, B, and C, D need to be the same length. We'll call it A. And B, C needs to be the same length as A, D. So that needs to be 2, F. Good one. Watch how that mechanism uh, works. Notice that now the hyperbola drawer is going to be at the intersection of the line AB and the line CD. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a um, an infinite line between A and B, which lines up with A and B, another one that lines up with C and D. And then we're going to intersect the two of those two things. And that point E is the one that's going to draw our hyperbola. Now we have to, to create a locus, we need some parameter that's going to vary. And I don't have a parameter here, I was just dragging uh, B around. Uh, but what we'd like to do is put an angle in there. I call that theta. Now we can look at the value of theta there. And as we drag B, we can see uh, we can see it move. I'd like to just change the limits. I'd like only to draw half the hyperbola. So now, if we watch theta go, we can. They go backwards and forward, it's going to draw half, half a hyperbola. The reason the drawing was so complicated in the book is that it gives you a second mechanism to draw the other half of the hyperbola. So locus, um, we've selected E and we come up into here, here, this is the locus tool. And we have a choice of which parameter is going to vary. Um, and theta is the one we want to vary to create the locus. And here we see uh, half of each branch of the parabola, of the hyperbola, my apologies. Uh, well, is it a hyperbola? And we can find that out by asking for its equation. The symbolic panel down here. Uh, so it's the equation of what? Well, this doesn't actually have a name on the screen, but it does have a name, and we can find that name by selecting it. Uh, K naught, in fact. And uh, when we get the symbolic equation, uh, we can look at that and say, well, is that the equation of a hyperbola? Um, well, it does have a, an x squared and a y squared. In fact, it looks very remarkably similar to the equation of the ellipse that we saw. But the issue is going to be that um, whether this is positive or negative, and that, of course, depends on um, the relationship between A and um, F or A and 2F. Uh, so that's the mechanism for drawing 
uh, hyperbola. Uh, 